The Personal Counseling Center provides treatment, mental health counseling to students on campus. Um, so we connect with students on various topics. It may be that an individual is coming in for adjustment concerns, perhaps the start of the school year and maybe the first time away from home. Um, a lot of the work we do though does involve working with students who may have already come in having been in treatment prior, potentially already have known that they've experienced a mental health diagnosis. So even though it is not something that uh, one has to have in order to see us, we see students who may have major depression diagnoses, eating disorder diagnoses, um, having just experienced grief or trauma. It really does range why students will come, come to see us. And we're a multidisciplinary crew. We actually have licensed social workers, licensed psychologists, licensed mental health clinicians, and a psychiatrist who's with us two days a week that actually works with students within our own system who may be in need of a medication uh, referral or assessment of some kind. And that's been incredibly helpful and useful for so many students because it can take a good three months to see a psychiatrist in the community. Um, we actually will sometimes work with students for just a couple sessions if that's all that they needed, but what's unique about our counseling center is that that we don't have any kind of time limits on how many times we can see a student in a given semester or in a given year. So if someone needs weekly therapy for a bit of time, then we're able to do that. We don't have to refer off campus based on any kind of you hit your sixth session. That also means that we can really do very intentional treatment planning and it's not this one size fits all based on what a student is coming in to meet us about. Um, our team actually has a couple of different branches. We currently have developed a branch called the Student Athlete Psychological Services, which is allowing for some embedded uh, work in athletics. And we have a clinical psychologist who leads that. We have a branch specific to those who may be needing some attention around substance use and addiction. And we have a a social worker who's a generalist but also a substance use counselor who is the lead on that branch. Sometimes students come in specifically saying that they have preferences in mind uh, for a counselor and it may be based on how they were trained in social work or psych uh, psychology or it could be about demographic factors. A student may come in saying, you know, I'd really like to meet with a counselor who's BIPOC or I'd really like to meet with a counselor who is a bit closer to my age or um, we have a counselor who actually who speaks Spanish and has uh, allowed for the opportunity for a student to engage in therapy in Spanish if that's something that would make somebody feel more comfortable. We know that 75% of all mental health diagnoses tend to actually end up coming to fruition for individuals by the time they're 24. So when we think about the time frame of those for the traditionally aged college years um, from our 17 to 22-ish undergraduate students, they may actually be encountering a mental health concern that actually meets to the level of a diagnosis for the first time during that time period. Um, in that time frame as well, there's opportunity to meet with those of us who work on a college campus and are very tuned in to young adult mental health as a result. So essentially, we're specialists within young adult mental health by nature of having worked here. Some of us have worked at other colleges and have really geared our training and career to doing college counseling work. Um, the other component to the importance of this, well, there's so many, but um, sometimes there can be a crisis that may occur and sometimes that may incorporate safety concerns. And so our you know, counselors, we are able to do safety assessments. We're able to make referrals to higher levels of care if a student needs something more than what we can provide in that given day. After hours, um, one of the services that the Counseling Center provides, and that's even if you've never seen one of us um, and may not even plan to continue in counseling is the ability to talk to an on-call crisis counselor. If you call when we're closed, we're kind of still open.
I think part of it has been, you know, the reduction of stigma in and of itself. Um, you know, you still see pockets, of course, where conversations about mental health and wellness aren't necessarily as seamless, whether it be um, because it, it's still seen as something that's not appropriate, keeping things within a family versus talking with a professional. But um, we've seen at so many levels, especially because of the pandemic, a spotlight on when individuals aren't feeling okay, a spotlight on the CDC calling um, suicide in and of itself a public health crisis and concern. Uh, the uh, From the very top at the federal level, looking at the ADA and seeing parity for mental health concerns within the context of other kinds of medical concerns that may be more about physical diagnoses in that regard. So with all of that has come a narrative to say mental health is health. It, it, when PC's done a really good job all along, truthfully, in looking at the holistic person, you know, mind, body, spirit, mind, body, soul. The pandemic also really allowed for room to discuss research about the impact on one's health related to various concerns such as racism, racial trauma, such as um, when we have discussions around violence, when we have discussions around the um, global economy, the economy in the U.S., unrest in the U.S. and globally as well, and the impact on health has been at the forefront of a lot of those conversations too. So there's definitely more than one way you can, um, some students prefer to actually stop in to make an appointment. And we're in Lower Bedford Hall, the side of the building that faces the business school, we're not on the residential side. So there's a little bit more privacy for those who are not wanting to cross paths with someone just coming in and out of the residence hall. Um, students can also give us a call at our number, which is 401-865-2343 to make an appointment. We do um, schedule students to come in, but if anything is ever urgent or an emergency, then of course you can't schedule those, right? They just happen. So we want students to be able to connect with us if something's going on that really needs more immediate attention.